Hi everyone, we're here at John Sanders Auto Repair. And I was working this evening on a 2003 Dodge Dakota that just shuts off on the customer. Sometimes she's turning left, sometimes she's turning right, sometimes she's on the freeway and the vehicle just shuts off. Then after a few minutes, it restarts back up again. Well, I knew it had a, an alarm system had an issue with it, and I want to take you to where the area, I was doing some testing, everything's testing good, no codes, fill pressure's good, and then I heard this clicking when I turned the key off, getting ready to go home, and I'm going to show you the area. Now you should be able to hear that clicking. It's not supposed to have that clicking sound. And that's coming from the engine relay. So I'm not sure what that's all involved, but it has to do with the starting circuit, I'm sure, because it's clicking off and on. Then we have our fuel pump gauge over there. We were testing the fuel pressure and everything. But with everything shut off and you're walking away, and that's not loud enough, if you're in a parking lot somewhere and you just leave your car and your hood shut and this cover's over the top of here, you're not going to hear that noise. So I've gone underneath here and I've removed the lower cover underneath the steering column so you can see underneath here. I, I loosened up all the bolts that were holding this stuff together. And here's part of the alarm system. And here's a relay that was just getting all taped up underneath the dash, getting super warm. You know, well, more than warm, getting actually hot. So they're supposed to get warm, but it was getting hot. So now if I go here to the pink wire with the black tracer on it, that's where this alarm circuit's hooked into the ignition. And I pull that out and disconnect the alarm for that part of the, the car's regularly functioning system because it's spliced in there. And we come back out here and there's no noise. The relay is quiet. And I've done this several times now and so what I found out is that goes for about a minute, minute and a half just click, 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 click and then it will finally shut off and not do it anymore. So I've never heard an alarm. It's not supposed to do anything like that whatsoever. But as you can see, they've got all kinds of stuff hooked inside of here and taped up and um, just stuff hanging everywhere underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this tomorrow and get this all out of the vehicle. And then we're going to get a new ignition switch put in it because when I turned the key off one time, the engine kept running and the key's kind of hard to move when you turn it in the housing. So that's just a little tip from John Sadler's. You got to be super careful when you're working on things. And um, it's been to several shops and they've done a lot of different work and worked on the ignition coils. Um, Telling her maybe it's your fuel pump, maybe this, maybe that. And what I did is I tested everything. When everything's testing good, you want to test under the same load the customer's doing. So I drove the vehicle around, it drove good. I put a scanner on it, there was no problems. I put a fuel pressure gauge on it. I put a current ramp testing on the fuel pump. Sure, everything's got wear on the patterns, but nothing's broken. So then I shut it off, I'm getting ready to go home for the evening. Actually, I was on my way to the gym, but I'm now I'm gonna go home. And what I found out was that the, that relay was just clicking like crazy there. So that's a huge problem. That alarm system is hooked into the ignition system. So that's a big problem. We're going to get rid of that, get a new ignition switch for the key part tomorrow. And then once all that's done, I'm going to just drive it around for a few days. If everything checks out good, then we'll return to the customer. So that's a little less than the patience. It's taken me three or four days to figure all this out. You can't just start slapping parts on a car where you think it may be. You have to do the dynamic testing, get time from the customer, and get it in a failing condition. Like it's nice and quiet here this evening. I was able to hear that relay because the hood was open and the cover was off. Otherwise, I might not have ever heard that. So thank you very much. Have a great evening.